Welcome back to Golf DBX's Winning What's in the Bag, where this week we congratulate Davis Thompson on his win at the 2024 John Deere Classic. We're going to take a look at what his What's in the Bag. He's a little bit of a free agent, but we unfortunately don't have any in-hand photos of his clubs. So everything you're going to see here is probably a stock image uh, or unfortunately no image at all. So I apologize for that, but I know we'll probably catch up with Davis sometime soon and get a full What's in the Bag photo session uh, out on tour. We'll start at the top there, and his driver is the Titleist. TSR3. So the 3 is going to be the lower launch, kind of lower spin model uh, out of the TSR lineup. It's probably one of the most popular drivers out on tour. And it is a 9 degree head, but it is playing at a C4 hosel adapter setting. So the SureFit hosel adapter is set at C4, which gives it a, an additional 0.75 degrees of loft and also makes it about 0.75 degrees more flat. So the additional loft are going to you know, help hit the ball a little higher. The flat can sometimes promote a little bit more of a fade ball flight or take away some a little bit of the draw ball flight uh, with that setting. Uh, the rear weight on his, there are a five setting rear weight and his is in the T1, which is one, uh, sec one step away from neutral towards the toe. So uh, there's a neutral, there's a T1, a T2. Uh, this is gonna make the club maybe be a, just a slight bit more fade bias. Uh, it can also kind of change the CG and the feel of the club throughout the swing, uh, but his is set in the T1, which is one step uh, closer to the toe from neutral. Now it's shafted up with a little bit older Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi Diamana DF70X. So the DF, you probably haven't heard from in a while. This was the fourth generation Diamana uh, that came out probably around 2019, end of 18, beginning of 19, when it was released. It was kind of the whiteboard at the time. Uh, low launch, low spin, about 79 grams in the TX version, and 2.9 degrees of torque. We move into his fairway woods, and the first fairway wood is a 3-wood, and it is a Ping G430 Max. So this is the 15-degree head. Not sure on the hosel settings there. I was not able to find a photo that gave me kind of the close enough, uh, you know, zoomed in detail to see what it's at. But it's a 15-degree head by nature. Uh, it, of course, has, the, you know, the carbon fiber crown. Uh, definitely a, a very forgiving head, easy to launch, and extremely popular on tour. Now, this one's shafted up with a Mitsubishi Tensei 1K Pro White. So this is the kind of latest edition of the Tensei uh, series, the white being the low launch, low spin. Uh, I think it's more of a kind of a mid-low launch, low spin shaft, but very smooth. Uh, the 1K fiber adds a bunch of stability without adding weight. And he's got that in an 80TX in this 3-wood. So the 80TX comes in at about 86 grams and 2.7 degrees of torque uh, for the 3-wood. Then he moves into a 7-wood, and the 7-wood is a matching Ping G430 Max 7-wood. This is, again, a 21-degree 20 head. Again, we don't know exactly what the hosel settings are. Uh, unfortunately, nothing there uh, photo-wise that I could find that uh, would show me if it's playing uh, you know, up or down or anything like that. Uh, this is also shafted up with a Mitsubishi Diamana D-Plus Limited 90TX. So an extremely heavy, kind of low-launch, low-spin shaft. Comes in at about 93 grams and 2.5 and degrees of torque. A shaft that, that's been on tour forever, played by some of the best players in the world and their drivers and fairways over the years. Uh, but extremely heavy, extremely stout uh, in the 7-wood. Irons, he's a little bit of a max mix between Ping and Titleist. The 4-iron is going to be the legendary and almost iconic Ping I-210 uh, iron, and he's got that in the 4-iron, which uh, was released in 2018 and has a stock loft of 22.5 degrees. Not sure if that has actually you know, been adjusted in any way, shape, or form, uh, but the I-210 was a really great uh, iron that offered some forgiveness, really great distance control, good feel, uh, and it wasn't the tiniest club. It was still more compact and less offset for a ping uh, compared to, say, the G-Series, uh, but was played by a ton of ping pros for a long, long time. Those were tough to get out of the bag, but he's got an I-210 4-iron, and that is shafted up with a True Temper Dynamic Gold Mid Tour Issue X100. Now, the mid, compared to the standard Tour Issue, is a little higher launching. Uh, the mid's kind of, as it, you would specify, with a mid-launching shaft uh, with a, just a little bit more spin than the True True Temper Dynamic Gold Tour Issue shafts. Now, the rest of his irons, is 5 through 9 iron, are going to be Titleist 620 MBs. So this is the blade that they've been making for a long time. Forged one-piece blade, reduced offset, very thin top line, uh, very classic look to it, uh, and has been in the bags of, again, same thing, many, many pros as you go through what's in the bags. Now, this one here uh, is shafted up with the same shaft, the True Temper Dynamic Gold Mid, 
Tour Issue X100. So extra stiff there, mid-launching, maybe just a touch more spin than the standard. When we get into wedges, his first wedge, he's got four of them. Uh, they're all going to be uh, Vokey uh, wedges. The first one is going to be the, his pitching wedge replacement, which again, we've talked about some players will put a more sandwich style pitching wedge in the bag uh, in order to kind of have a, a different look, uh, maybe a different spin of launch window, uh, or also just make it more versatile if they use it around the green. So his first one is a 46.10F. Uh, that's pretty much the traditional Vokey uh, Pitching wedge. This is an SM10, uh, but the F grind, again, as we've talked about numerous times, the F grind seems to be winning all over the place. Uh, full sole, kind of standard sole look, great for full shots uh, with wedges. Uh, this is shafted up with the True Temper Dynamic Gold Tour Issue X100. So, not the mid, the standard X100, uh, probably coming in with a little bit flatter launch for the pitching wedge. And then he moves into gap wedge, and it's a 50.08 F grind. So this is going to be the low bounce version. I know we've talked about uh, the, the 50 before, but a lot of people have been playing the dot .12, the 12-degree 12 bounce. This is the 8-degree bounce, so a little bit less bounce, better for uh, your firmer conditions, shallower swings. Uh, it will dig just a little bit more than the 12-degree, uh, but we'll get through the turf pretty quickly. And this is shafted up with a True Temper Dynamic Gold Tour Issue S400. So a little bit softer uh, than the X100, a couple grams heavier. Uh, and it plays very, very similar, you know, similar feel. Just a little bit softer for those partial shots uh, that he may take with the gap wedge. We move into a sand and lob wedges, and these are Titleist Vokey Design Wedge Works. The first one's going to be a 54.08 M grind. The M grind is kind of one of the more popular grinds out there. I think definitely amongst, amongst amateurs, you see it a whole lot. Uh, but it's got a lot of trailing edge, toe, and heel relief, and that allows you to open the, the wedge up without the leading edge coming too far off the ground. Now, the M grind also has been just slightly modified into the newer, I think, SM9 and SM10 versions, where it does get through the turf very, very quickly, uh, but it comes in at 8 degrees of balance, but it does play like a little bit more than that. And then he has the, of course, very popular 60.04 T grind as his lob wedge. So the T grind, again, as we've talked about numerous times, even more trailing edge uh, relief than the M grind. Uh, really allows you to open that club up without the leading edge coming off the ground. Allows you to allows you to play uh, a bunch of different shots, high lofted. Uh, it allows you to press it forward, get that leading edge under the ball on tight lies. Uh, but a very versatile grind. It does take a little bit more precision since it's only four degrees of bounce. It will dig a little bit uh, if you don't hit the hit the club exactly as needed. And if you try to kind of you know get it into the turf, uh, it's not going to shoot out quite as quickly as some of the other bounce and sole options. Now, both these are shafted up with the True Temper Dynamic Gold Tour Issue S400 shafts, 132 grams, a little lower launch, lower spin. Again, a little softer than X100 for those partial feel shots around the grain. Then we move into Putter, and he's playing an Odyssey White Hot OG number 7. So this is the one with the softer White Hot insert in it, two movable weights on the sole. The 7 is, of course, the, fanged, uh, the famous fanged shape uh, from uh, Odyssey they've been making uh, for forever. Uh, I personally am a huge fan of the, the claw or the putter. Been in my bag numerous versions numerous times. Uh, it, is, it has an Odyssey Stroke Lab red shaft in it. So the one, the Stroke Lab shafts are half carbon uh, with a steel tip section. So the upper hand is carbon fiber. It's painted in red and then a steel double bend tip section into that. And the grip on there is a Super Stroke Pistol GTR Tour. Uh, so a little bit smaller, probably the smallest of the GTR series. Uh, that's a grip that I don't believe is made anymore, uh, but it was something that was popular through some other OEMs on their putters, uh, but also something you get aftermarket uh, as well. Then he is also playing for ball, the Titleist Pro V1. So he was quoted, I think, of saying that he's been naturally kind of a high ball hitter, so the Pro V1 fits in well with a little bit more penetrating ball flight, lower spin in the long game, but still has a lot of spin around the green for that kind of drop and stop control. Also has a softer feel than the Pro V1X. You know, it's, it's sibling. So that is Davis Thompson's winning what's in the bag from the 2024 John Deere Classic. Congratulations to him. That's a huge win. Exciting to see. And let's check back next week and see what's in the bag of the next champion.